Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we test all the masks on the internet. Today we are continuing a series um, from, I'm gonna call it my mystery uh, mask fairy from maybe Washington State, maybe works at a hospital, sent me a bunch of masks to test. And today we're looking at the, according to prophecy, the All Med Express KN95 FDA masks. And if you look on their website, it says FDA uh, approved. Not true, not true. Number one, FDA uh, uh, doesn't approve masks, so that's not really a thing. Um, and the other thing is that they actually got rid of all of their KN95s on their uh, emergency use, so they're not really approved anymore. All right, um, I mean, I don't know how accurate this is because it, you know, this is coming in a, a Ziploc bag. So I'll go ahead and test it uh, real quick. But if you guys are gonna send me masks, please send me the entire box so that I can see like the claims that are making. I mean, this has a really interesting design, but it doesn't have any markings on it. So I don't really know where this came from or what it is. But for you, mystery person that sent me so many things, I'll test it. All right, so this is the setup that we're gonna be using. If you want to see how that works, I'll put a link in just a second. Now, remember that NIOSH is going to be using, I've said this before, NIOSH is going to be using um, beeswax, uh, using a TSI machine, which is a lot different, takes a lot more time. This is just me being lazy. Uh, this is not what we actually do for our tests. We don't use this device. This is just like a quick thing, just for me. Uh, throw it in there. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. I've got two of them. Um, so one thing I like right away is it's got this, uh, this great nose foam. That's going to aid in uh, sealing around the top of the nose. And it's got a great uh, wire up here as well. Uh, it's like a double thick wire. So I like that quite a bit. But there's no markings on it. So I don't know if this thing is real or fake or... What I can tell you this, it's not a real KN95 because KN95 format has to say KN95 on it. And then it has to, I believe it has to say the GB2626-2006. I'm really fun at parties, people. Um, which is basically uh, part of the compliance of saying like, hey, this is, the, this is the KN95 standard made in China. That's the name of the standard. Um, and you have to put it on every mask. So I'm going to do it test of this real quick. I'm going to say that this smells like um, somebody's laundry room, like a clean laundry room. That's the smell for this. Uh, but that may or may not have anything to do. It may be more about the person who sent it to me. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fall off on your face. But, you know, mileage may vary. Let's switch over to the PFE machine. It's doing really well. Airflow resistance is 150. Uh, CAN 95, these flat fold respirators, um, typically uh, you know, have a much better breathability than that, like maybe 120. Um, so that's actually pretty bad. But look at this efficiency, it's great. 99.86, I mean, that's, that's great efficiency. Test is gonna finish up in just a second. Whatever this mystery mask actually is, it's a pretty good mask, not bad. Even though they didn't print the standard on it, so it's kind of weird that. Anyway, all right, there you go. Efficiency, 99.867, 99.867. Pretty good mask. Don't love the KN95 design with the ear loops. Not a big fan. I prefer that like the KF94 if I was gonna do an ear loop design, uh, but that's just me. But I mean, as far as KN95 goes, pretty good. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you, mystery man or woman for sending me these masks. Um, I appreciate it. Send me some more masks. I'll test them. But again, send me the whole box so I can actually see what's going on. I'm kind of flying blind here. All right, catch you on the next test. Thank you.